You want to attract better lovers and that will also attract more abundance. SEX, sacred energy exchange. A lot of times when we're with someone or have a new lover, they're wearing a mask. Women do this too. We're meeting that person's sales representative. We're not knowing the true them yet. So maybe they're road raging, angry. They haven't had a coach, worked on their trauma, their wounds. They're filled with anger and suffering. But on the outside, it looks like a regular handsome dude. But this is the energetic exchange that she's experiencing. And the next day we can feel like, oh my gosh, I'm in a funk. Why does my energy feel off? I'm feeling drained. I don't feel like myself. We can be taking these energies from someone else. Just be careful here. You're creating these energetic connections with someone else. I actually, my clients too, in removing toxic soul ties from past lovers. I had a client that she was stuck in a $10 million contract with the ex-lover because they had a practice together. And after I did the cord removal from her, the company brought them in for a meeting. They're like, we're releasing you from this contract. We decided to close this location. And they gave her an opportunity. They were like, and you're free to work at any of the other offices because she was going to be stuck having to be in a 10-year practice partnership with this person. A week after we did the cord removal, everything dissolved. I can't put on a body condom and protect myself from someone's bad vibes. So now I want to know, take the time to see how they are. How do they eat? Do they meditate? You know, and just being aware that you're taking on other people's energetics. This diagram goes a little more into that. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transformed or transferred. This is art by Marcos Alvarado. Here you see the energy around them. Their aura is blue. This other one is red. They come together. And then when they leave, their energy is red. It's just switched. If you're familiar with transmutation, if you are ever read the book by Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich, the individuals of greatest achievement tend to be those who have highly developed natures who have learned the art of transmutation. He dedicated a chapter in the book on this, chapter 11, The Mystery of Transmutation, which is very edgy because this book was published in the 1930s, almost 100 years ago. So he couldn't go into the full dynamics of it, but he did bring it into the topic because this is something that he saw the most successful people did. You can have healing with someone who's self-aware and aligned. There's no way to bring people together than with pleasure and intimacy. It's beautiful to have someone who understands and is tapped into their energetic centers and their energy. It's this beautiful dance and you can have these prolonged states of bliss that are so healing and transformative. It's deeply healing. It changed my life in the best, best ways. 